The Zytron MD33X is Zytron's flagship electronic red dot reflex sight manufactured and designed in Japan. It features a 33mm tube, 11 position adjustment dial with two night vision settings, an automatic setting, and eight daylight settings. It features a 5 MOA dot that takes VR 2032 batteries. So, what is Zytron and what the heck is with this optic? Cytron is a Japanese company that is a successor to the Japanese division of Tasco before the restructuring of the company and the acquisition from Bush. They primarily make magnified hunting style optics, binoculars, and they also make several different versions of essentially the same red dot sight, with 30mm tubes or with 33mm tubes. The SD series of red dot sights are less expensive with 11 position dial without the auto brightness feature or night vision brightness features. And the MD series is marketed towards military and law enforcement with the auto brightness feature and night vision settings included. Looking around Japanese blogs, the Tasco MD-33 was released in the early 2000s. The design of the Cytron MD-33X seems to have been virtually unchanged from the earlier, an older Tasco version. The advertised claim in actual military use of the Tasco or Cytron MD-33 has been used by the JSDF in conjunction with the Type 89 5.56 caliber service rifle with a unique military issued mount, along with other optics either from issue, private purchase, or as from international military aid from America such as the Trigicon ACOG. One marketing point from Tasco and Cytron is a claim of private use and purchase by U.S. military troops during the Iraq War in the 2000s. Yet, with only two photos in existence, this claim seems plausible but extremely limited. And it seems that contemporaries such as the Aimpoint Comp M2 have made this MD-33 dated since invention. Inside the Cytron MD-33X, you get a manual in Japanese, the optic, a kill flash that can withstand sub-dual aerosol BB impacts, 33mm scope rings, and flip-up optic covers, as well as a microfiber cleaning cloth. For use with rifles such as the M4 Carbine or the AR-15, a generic riser is necessary, or for optional purchase, Cytron does offer a cantilever 33mm mount. It does have quick detach capabilities, but I discovered that it actually doesn't retain zero, even for airsoft guns when remounted. The one-third mount does feature a Picatinny 1913 rail on top. However, I don't know what this is for. Mounting the other optics above it is redundant and makes it too high for adjustment and bore offset, and can cause problems for zeroing. It can also interfere with the auto brightness sensor and function. At least the mount seems to hold up with the reflow of the 5.56 rifle. Yet the 5 MOA radical under certain lighting conditions will appear to be blown out and it makes it quite difficult to use. Speaking of the reticle being difficult to use, the refresh rate on this optic is pretty awful. There is a horrible amount of jittering and stuttering with this optic, and this is noticeable when transitioning between targets rapidly or when tracking moving targets such as at an airsoft game. Battery life is terrible too. The big emitter with dated circuitry means that battery life is poor, and it shouldn't be something that is left on. Eh, at least the glass quality is decent, and it doesn't appear to have an excessive amount of blue tint or notch filter. I don't know how it performs under night vision with the two night vision settings, and I may have to outsource that to someone else who has nods and get their opinion on it. The optic does seem to be water resistant under rain, but I hadn't done anything like dunking the thing into a bucket of water and submerging it. Should you get the MD33X? God no! The retail price of it at 5,700 Japanese yen, or about 400 United States dollars, you can easily get yourself a proven and modern optic that doesn't have any of these problems, such as the Aimpoint Pro. Mounting options are limited, and the ones included aren't good with a 33mm tube. Modern, inexpensive red dot sights, such as offerings from Sig Romeo, Primary Arms, or Hollis have blowed out of the water at half the price, if not less. The only people who would claim that this is actually a good optic in 2023 have no idea what they're talking about, or are delusional and think Japanese stuff is the best ever. With this thing still being expensive, sold at a ridiculous price, and not being changed at all since the 2000s, and inferior to most modern offerings on the market, the Cytron MD33X is literally the embodiment of Japanese Kolobko syndrome, where some product 
often marketed for the Japanese markets created. They end up resting on the laurels and never innovate it until something from the outside literally blows it out of the water. Such offerings include Japanese flip phones against the iPhone, Japanese airsoft guns compared to offerings from Taiwan, or the Cytron MD33X against the Sega MSR. Thanks for watching.